Hi everyone, you know what? I just finished a video and um, I've got some open wine and I thought, you know, I might as well do a quick little vlog while I've got this open bottle of wine instead of later on opening another bottle. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm Nancy and this is my little quick coffee time chat, but it's wine instead of coffee. So welcome to Coffee, Tea, Wine and Life. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my quick little vlog, coffee, tea, wine, and life. I hope that everyone is having a great week. I will probably try to kind of go a little out of sequence and post this on the weekend. So anyway, cheers everyone. I hope you're having a great weekend or a great week. You just never know the way I'm posting things lately. So cheers everyone. I have got vampire wine merlot i just opened this to do a quick little taste test with some gummy bears that i'm going to post on a wednesday and oh my god it was so good cheers everyone mm. so so good so anyway i want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me it means more to me than i can ever let you know I appreciate you guys so much, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would just take a quick second and hit that little red subscribe button over there. It's not near, near the wine or anything, so I don't have to worry about that. But I would love to have you guys come back and join us for future videos. Today we're just going to do a quick little vlog. don't really have too much going on. Oh my god, it was a rough, rough week. I was losing the VPN to work because I work from home. I was losing it about every 20 minutes. I know that was crazy. I was pulling my hair out. And so then all of a sudden my boss says, you know, are you plugged right into the internet or are you wireless? And I said, I've been wireless for the last two years or whatever, you know? And um, so he said, you know, you really should be plugged into the ethernet, direct plug into your, the modem from your cable company. So anyway, I says, well, I don't have a cord long enough because that's like in three rooms over where that comes in and my office is someplace else. So they ordered this cable for me. It's like a hundred feet. Oh my God. So I go to plug it in to get all set up. Okay. So my modem, the back of the modem from the cable company only has one plug for the ethernet, which means I can't plug into my wireless, which means if I plug into that, I don't have phone service. None of my other computers will work and nothing will work. The TV, nothing. But I said, you know what? It's for, for work. I don't really need anything other than my phone. And I'll just tell everybody to forward everything to either email or my cell phone. Alrighty. So I go to plug it in. I get it all wired. I trip over it probably about a hundred times because it's all coiled. And I finally get it in there. And my laptop does not have an ethernet connection. I know, crazy, and that's my newest one. So, take everything apart again, go plug in the other one, wait for the wireless to come back up, have to reset the router, get the phone back. So I call in, I says, my laptop doesn't have an ethernet connection. So I look at another one that I have, and I've got an older laptop that does, but it gets hot, so it shuts off every couple hours, so I really don't use that one too much. And so he says, well, you know, just, you know, go back and forth during the day. And I'm like, really? But it says, okay, I can do that. So go through the thing again, get everything unplugged, plug in the, plug the ethernet in that long cord into the modem, unplug the wireless, come back in, plug it into the laptop, move the laptop over to where I can get to it on my desk and then use my keyboard and the monitor. And it's like, crap a doodle. I don't have the B VPN software on this one. And I don't have the desktop, remote desktop one on this one. So I'm supposed to be doing that this weekend, installing that on my other older laptop. I don't want to. And I don't understand how my, it's been working fine all this time without being directly plugged into the modem. But, you know, I'll take his word for it. So I'm supposed to be doing it. I procrastinated. I did not do it yet. I may or may not do it tomorrow. It's a pain in the butt. But anyway. That said, we are here for a quick little vlog. So, like I said, I don't have too much going on. You know, last month I did some videos. I didn't get to do, um, 
box or an open a try on my Miss Ellie from February but I do have that to try on later this month I have also of course would have the one for March coming in I've already picked out my book of the month so that should be coming soon um, oh my gosh ipsy I don't know what the heck and maybe I'm just getting really really picky but the the picks that I had the choices that I had for just a regular ipsy glam bag that one for like $13 that one had some really nice choices. Of course, those are the deluxe samples, but had some really nice choices, so I was really happy with that one. Then I got the one for the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and I was like, you're kidding me, right? It was like a choice between hair ties and all kinds of lipsticks and dark lipsticks and eyelashes, and it's like, what? I thought they said great things were coming. So anyway, I was a little disappointed with those choices, but you never know. Maybe when it gets here, I will love it. But anyway, that just did not sound promising at all. And I think that's probably about it. Yeah. Other than, of course, my winged wine came in for my 14th box. So I will be trying to figure out some dinners and things to have with that. It's St. Patrick's Day this week. So I'll be doing, probably dressing up. A little bit for St. Patty's Day. I don't know if I'm going to have wine. Maybe I'll have something with Bailey's or something like that. And I just have something a little fun, a little exciting for St. Patty's Day. And other than that, I'm probably just going to quick do um, a little walkthrough of my planner for the month of February. Just kind of go through and show that. Not the one for the fitness, the wellness planner, yet the wellness journal, but I'll do the other one. February uh, was a fun month, really, trying on all different things in red for doing videos and for Valentine's Day in the color. And then it was Mardi Gras week besides that. So I had that week of the colorful Mardi Gras purples and greens and the colorful black splash behind me and the mask. So that was really fun to do. Uh, but February is also a sad month for me. February is uh, 5th, 6th is my, my brother's birthday. And like every week that I do in a planner like this I want to celebrate his life and put some pictures up there of his growing up pictures in there and just kind of celebrate that day around everything else and um, I went downstairs this morning and because I knew I had written a poem for him on one of his birthdays I did a poem not a great poem because hello I'm Nancy but um, yes yeah, so I got that and some scrapbook pages that I made one year for his birthday so I'll probably put that in there at the end too but um, yes and because you know I know these are pretty boring for a lot of them I thought I would throw in a quick little giveaway so I grabbed this pretty box from Look Fantastic. So it's one of their special boxes here and pretty shade of purple and green for spring. So it's just real springy looking. And I got a variety of things in here. Whoops, I just lost the eye mask, but we've got that in here. So I'll have some face mask in here. And then I'll just kind of hold this up and hopefully it doesn't fall just to show you some of the different things that are in here so when I come back at the end of that video of uh, just a brief going through of my um, planner we'll have the secret code word so I will be right back
Alrighty, so anyway, I hope that wasn't too long. I wanted to do some voiceovers with that. I tried to do those those videos of the, the pictures of my scrapbook with my phone like this, but then when I'm talking, the microphone's on the other side, so it's usually kind of muffled. So I'm going to try to do a voiceover. Sometimes they're not going to match um, what I'm showing you, but anyway, the all information's in there. And this is the page from my scrapbook that I did for my brother Bill. And this was I did on February 6, 2002. So I took a quick picture of this, but I'll just kind of show you a little bit. So I've got a lighthouse there, and it's just to com com commemorate um, my sister-in-law, Bill's wife, Joan, and my nephew, his son, Bill. They, um, you know, he loved the beach. He loved the ocean. They spent a lot of time um, Long Beach Island in New Jersey, where they had moved to. And so his ashes are out by the Barnegat Lighthouse. It was where they did the uh, Decemberment at Sea or something like that. So that was what he wanted. And, you know, I wish we could have been there with him. But anyway, so anyway, I'm just going to quick say the poem that I did. And um, you can always skip over it. It's just really meaningful to me, even though it's the poem that I wrote. And it's kind of lame. But anyway, my brother Bill. So growing up, we were, we seemed worlds apart. We had separate lives, but we were always in each other's hearts. He was the oldest and I was the youngest. His hair was bright red and mine was a brown. He made his home in the east while I headed west. He lived in a big city and I in a small town. He had his first puppy, Cherry, then Coco, and his tiny little Abby, as I had my Stetson, Jake, and my precious little Penny. We both lo loved our families, our spouses, and our children, and we both loved to swim and fish as we were both drawn to the call of the ocean. He played football and track and strummed his guitar. When I close my eyes at night, I can still hear him play. There is a house in New Orleans, and it's called the Rising Sun. To my sisters and I, he was always kind. And it was too soon when he left us in September of 1999. I last saw my brother in July of 98 as I left for my new home in the town of Forest Lake. And now he's in heaven with my dad by his side and together the taking care of his little girl Cherry and my special boy Stetson. And every night I pray that they're all together playing fetch giving kisses, fishing, and tugging on Stetson's favorite toy. To me, he's my brother. To my girls, he's their uncle. To Joan, he's her husband. For Bill, he's his dad. And for my mom, he will always be her little boy. My brother Bill, I will always miss, and I'll always remember our last hug and kiss. And that was the February 6, 2002, that I did that, and I still have, I never got to see him again, um, you know, we moved out to Minnesota, and when my brother had his heart attack, and he was in the hospital, Rick had his first heart attack, so they were both in the hospital at the same time, and I couldn't leave, you know, Rick to go see my brother, Rick recovered, he lived several several years after he lived through 10 heart attacks, three amputations, and more heart, more bypasses, more stints than anyone should ever have to go through. And, um, you know, my brother just had that one massive heart attack and didn't live long, that long after. So it's always important to treat your last goodbye like it could be your last goodbye. Um, I regret that I wasn't able to go home and see my brother Bill. Um, it's something I'm going to have to live with forever, but I don't know how I could have. I, you know, I didn't know too much about heart attacks back then. I was kind of like a rookie. But anyway, I love my brother Bill, and I hope he understands. And anyway, back to good things. The giveaway. If you're stuck with me this far, or if you've fast-forwarded to the end, that's cool too. I like to keep them simple. So if you just use enter me, um, we will do that giveaway. Um, we'll probably let this run 
maybe maybe two weeks i'll probably put something in in the description when when i'll close this but anyway i want to thank you guys so much for taking the time i love doing my planner my which is kind of like my journal my scrapbooking it's just so much fun it's a relaxing way for me it's a way to remember our fa my family members whether they are present here with us now or past family members and remembering puppies and just holidays and fun things like that so anyway thank you guys so much you guys are amazing you mean the world to me and i hope everyone goes out take care everyone be safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun i love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video and good luck everyone oopsie i probably should mention the standard rules and regulations that most of us youtubers go by will be um in effect so you would have to be publicly subscribed to my channel um you would have to be over 18 have a u.s mailing address you do have to um understand that um this is not affiliated with youtube look fantastic or any of the products that are in there it's just something that i'm doing as just a special thank you for you guys um once i ship it i'm not responsible for anything lost damaged or stolen or uh, responsible if you have any allergic reactions or anything like that anything else will be in the description below again thank you guys so much i love you guys and we'll see you in our next video